Happy New Year to you! What I'd like to do is to invite you on another journey and this journey is to look at your behaviour. Now I'm not here to say that your behaviour is right or wrong as I'm not into rights and wrongs. What I'd like you to do is to have a look at your context or your position when you are having a conversation, a discussion, a contention or maybe an argument with another. You and I both know that if you engage your ego and you've got two egos going against one another then I will guarantee that will destroy a relationship. Absolutely will. So here's my question. How would love respond? What would love do? What would love say in any given situation? So exactly at that time when it feels painful, discomfort, anxious, vexation, annoyance, anything like that, that's the time when you ask yourself the question, how would love respond? What would love say in this situation? And usually it means you've got to disengage or drop your old context or position. What I mean by context or position is if I'm right and you're wrong, very poor context to come from. But if my context was say love and gratitude, that's a more powerful context or position to come from. Now, Sarah and I, my gorgeous, partner, there she is, concentrating on the road. We've just been up Ingleborough, which is a high mountain around here. It's just located, in fact, if I push this window down there, you might be able to see it. Is it over? Actually, it's buried behind the clouds over there. Anyway. We found it very challenging, but we had an incredible time getting to the top. Connected to what I'm discussing with you, when in your life something becomes challenging, the chances are you will go to your old programming. Remember, you got that from your parents, your guardians, those that took care of you, your subconscious mind. And your behaviour then becomes childlike. I use the word, the word childlike rather than childish because childish is then a form of judgement. So, if I asked anyone, I just stopped them right now and I said, what do you want in your life? And we cut through the materialistic stuff, you know, bigger flash of cars, bigger, bigger home, more electronics, blah, 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 blah. If we cut through all that, what people ultimately want is they want to feel good. They want more peace in their life. They want to be healthy. They want more happiness. Those are the general three things. They want more love. Those are the things that people want. And so in coming back to my question, how or what would love say or respond in any given moment gives you a wonderful opportunity to turn something around which could may mean more bad words on television. <laughs> a lot more anger, frustration. Now, I will do a recording on anger. I know I've said this before, I will do one, because anger is anger's not the problem. Being stuck there is the problem. And also showing aggression all the time may be a problem. But what I want you to do is, any of those times when you feel challenged because somebody said or did something, then ask yourself that question that probably wouldn't often pop up into your head. How would love respond? What would love say in this situation? Rather than going to your old programming. Yeah? I hope that makes sense. Well, have yourself a wonderful 2010. We've had a beautiful, cold, slippery, but very challenging walk to the top of Ingleborough. My love and gratitude to you all. Enjoy your day. Bye for now.